Coming to you today from beautiful City Hall Park here in the southern tip of the island of Manhattan. And we're here to check out Image Object, a really interesting exhibition that's been organized by the Public Art Fund. And it brings together seven international artists who have all created new work for this outdoor exhibition that examines what is the nature of objects in an age that is completely mediated by images. Standing here in front of Amanda Ross Hose, the character and shape of illuminated things, facial recognition, is a fantastic outdoor sculpture that's really playing with the notion of what happens when things are mostly captured by our smartphones. And the way that most of us either remember things, how we experience it is looking through the screen of our phone, or the way that we see it is online in some sort of disseminated fashion. So here she's created what's kind of quite traditional tabletop almost sculpture of a female face with two objects next to it, much like a traditional sculpture would be seen. But she's illuminated this by putting kind of the facial recognition square, this amazing green neon, the same way that when you take a picture of something with your smartphone, it kind of tries to find the faces. This object here is part of a set of sculptures by the artist John Raffman called New Age Demanded. And he's really dealing with notion between the handmade and the digital here. He's taken classical sculptural forms, modeled them with a, with a scanner, kind of a 3D scanner, and then extruded them using digital technologies, and then really planned out the sculpting of them with basically a 3D printer. And it ends up making these really gorgeous, kind of sexy sculptural objects. I think they're just ravishing, and are totally new, a totally new form of art making, using technologies that never before existed, but using a very classical, classical material, and really form. sculpture by Hank Willis Thomas and what Hank has done here is taken an image from the 2D world, in this case a picture of a Harlem Globetrotter he found from the 1970s, and turned it into a physicalized form, into a sculpture. This amazing hand reaching forth with the basketball, meant to mirror the Statue of Liberty that's less than a mile behind me uh, off New York Harbor here. So this notion of kind of how we tell the stories about ourselves, what is welcoming and what is iconic for our age. a sculpture by Artie Verkant and it's called one of his image objects. What that means is it's a constantly regenerating artwork. Artie's very interested in how images have a life and how they play back and forth between physical form and representation, specifically representation online. And for this series he starts with one object that he makes, puts it in exhibition, and then finds crowdsource or makes his own photographs of those works and then makes sculptures out of those photographs. This is a constantly evolving process where sort of the negative space of the act of photography becomes the sculpture in and of itself. <laughs> 